What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a quick Tuesday video to cover the difference between a clip and a magazine. I get a surprising number of comments that think they're right because they saw my top five things that nerf noobs do and they assume everything is a magazine and clips aren't even real. That is inaccurate. There's a big misunderstanding because of that video that I'm here to clear up right now. Let's start with the dictionary definitions of magazine and clip. Magazine, a chamber for holding a supply of cartridges to be fed automatically to the breech of a gun. Automatically is a key word here. Clip, a device that is used to store multiple rounds of ammunition together as a unit. These are definitions based on the firearm world, so cartridge doesn't really make sense. We have to replace that with dart. But the primary difference between a magazine and a clip, a magazine feeds the ammo into the blaster on its own. The propulsion mechanism is locked into the magazine, not the blaster. A clip is fed through the blaster, but the propulsion of the system is built into the blaster or the gun, not the clip itself. The clip just holds ammo together, and something else has to feed this up and down through the machine in order to feed it. Whereas the magazine has a spring or some form of tension to forcibly insert the darts up into the blaster on its own. So the blaster doesn't feed the ammo. The magazine feeds the ammo. Do you understand now? I'll quiz you. This is going to be like Dora the Explorer, Blue's Clues. First option, this is a tricky one because of the name. This is a mag strike. Is this a clip or a magazine? This is a clip. You're supposed to like shout out the answer, but I don't know if you participated. I'll just pretend you're participating. If not, you'll probably just leave the video. <laughs> the Mag Strike features a clip, despite its name being Mag Strike. This comes out of a chaos. Is this a magazine or a clip? This is a magazine. The giveaway, springs. This is inserted into the chaos and the magazine propels the balls into the chaos. Next one, the Boomco shotgun. With this thing, magazine or clip? Clip. There's no propulsion system on this. The blaster propels the clip through the blaster in order to feed. There's no spring. It's just hard plastic that holds everything together as a unit, which is again, the definition of a clip. Next one, the Artemis. This one might be tricky because it's built in. Can a clip or a magazine be built in? The answer is magazine. This is an internal magazine as opposed to an external box magazine, which is this. External being you can pull it out of the blaster. This is locked into the blaster, but that doesn't mean it's a clip. This is an internal magazine. You can just call it a magazine. That's fine. Next, this X-Shot blaster. Clip or magazine? It's a clip. The blaster feeds the clip through the blaster. So this is a clip, not a magazine. Now the air-powered Destiny. You don't see many blasters like this. This is similar to the Mag Strike. Is that a giveaway? It's a clip too. The blaster feeds the clip through the blaster in order to load. That's a clip. You should already know this one. That's a magazine. This is also a magazine. I've never seen a clip with a spring. So if you see something with a spring and that's loading the ammo, you could just assume it's a magazine. Those are my examples. Clip versus magazine. Hopefully you understand that. But I want to add a note regarding the significance of clip versus magazine. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter which you're using as long as who you're speaking to understands what you're talking about. I think we often forget the sole purpose of communication is to get an idea from my brain into this other person's brain who I'm communicating with. As long as that is successful, it doesn't doesn't matter what words I'm using or how I'm using them, as long as they know how I'm using my words. I'm sure you all have shorthand or jargon phrases that you use with your friends or family that other people wouldn't understand. That's okay. That's not wrong. It's just not the dictionary definition of these words. Why does that matter? If there's a single magazine on the table and your friend says, hey, go pick up that clip, and he's pointing right at it, and there's no clip in sight, you don't have to be a D-bag and say, but that's not a clip. That's a magazine. <laughs> You just go over and pick it up because you obviously know what he's talking about. That is, again, the point of communication. However, if we change the situation and someone's like, hey, pick up that clip and you do this and you say, no, I'm talking about the orange one then he's just being confusing and he doesn't know what he's saying. So if you're playing with experienced nerfers and you say, hey, hand me that magazine, they'll probably know what you're talking about. But if you're playing with a new guy, you don't have to be a jerk. You can just say, hand me the orange magazine. And he'll think, this one's orange, this one's not. He's obviously talking about this, even if he doesn't know what a magazine is. And magazine and clip are not the only ways to feed a nerf blaster. You can have a cylinder, a single barrel, a hopper. There are different loading designs. So I thought it'd be helpful to clarify with this video, if you hear somebody use the wrong word, you can link them to this video to help them better understand. And honestly, we can't really judge people for not knowing the difference because modern films use the wrong jargon all the time. Filmmakers in general are these liberal snowflakes who've never shot a gun. They have no idea what they're talking about and they're trying to direct an action film. So have some grace when your friends use the wrong words because they probably watched a film and they used the wrong word so then it got stuck in their mind incorrectly. That happens all the time. We have a lot of grammatical errors and simple little jargon jargon mix-ups that people assume are normal. Like ATM machine. Do you know what ATM stands for? Automated teller machine. Saying ATM machine is like saying automated teller machine machine. It doesn't make any sense at all. You call it an ATM or an automated teller machine if you want to be a nerd, but ATM machine doesn't make sense. That's wrong. I'll stop there before I go off on a rant on every little pet peeve that's in my brain, and we don't have time for that. <laughs> Hopefully you learned something. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.